Hello, a very good evening to all. So today we are going to discuss about the new topic that is pharmacology of alcohol. We are going to discuss about what effects that alcohol induces on the various body system, what effect it can induce on the central nervous system, what effect it can induce on our respiratory system, or various other systems that are present in our body. Let's first discuss what are the various types of alcohol. We have the monohydroxyethyl alcohol, methyl alcohol, propyl alcohol. Other than these things dihydroxy in which two hydroxyl molecules are present ethylene glycol propylene glycol similarly trihydroxy mein kya hai? glycerol or glycerin and last is polyhydroxy in which there is the number of OH molecule OH group are present the examples of polyhydroxy alcohol include mannitol and the sorbitol Coming to the alcohol drinks, we know that in the market, the number of alcohol drinks are available. Now let's discuss, kis tara ki alcohol mein, kis tara ki jo alcohol hai, mein kitna percentage rehta hai. In the beer, there is a 5 percentage of alcohol. In the wine, the present concentration of the alcohol is around 10 to 15 percent. In talking about the rum, whiskey, in the rum and whiskey, the alcohol content is quite higher, 40 to 45 percent. High concentration of alcohol are called the spirits that are 90 to 95 percent and absolute alcohol in which the pure alcohol is present that is 99 percent denaturated spirit 95 percent okay coming to how actually alcohol is prepared ethyl alcohol that is c2h5oh it is also called the ethanol we also call the ethyl alcohol as the ethanol Okay, it is a colorless, volatile and the inflammable liquid which having the characteristic smell and the characteristic taste. Jo alcohol rehti hai, wo ek colorless substance hai, ek volatile substance hai aur ek inflammable liquid hai, jiska ek characteristic smell rehta hai, taste bhi rehta hai, matlab ek alag hoga from all other things. It is generally obtained from the sugar but the fermentation process. I think you all know the fermentation about the process of the fermentation. So what actually happen in the fermentation we use certain particular enzymes and by using that particular enzymes we convert the sugar into the alcohol. Okay. So that's they, they, there has they have mentioned the reaction of alcohol. But so our major uh, focus is on what alcohol do with our body system and what is actually the mechanism of action of alcohol in our body. The GABA receptor that is a gamma amino butyric acid is inotropic receptor and the ligand gated ion channel. Inotropic receptor which basically open on the various ions sodium and calcium and it is ligand gated ion channel. Okay, it is and its endogenous ligand is gamma amino butyric acid, which is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter on the central nervous system. What actually happens when this GABA receptor it get activated? When this GABA receptor activated, ho jata hai, it selectively conducts the chloride through its pole, resulting in hyperpolarization of the neuron. When the persons take the alcohol, the GABA receptor in our body is activated, which is which ultimately kya karta hai? which ultimately starting the conducting conductance of chloride ions through its pore. This causes an inhibitory effect of neurotransmission and decreases the action potential. So what hap actually happened in that case when the chloride ion this moves through the pore that ultimately resulting the inhibitory effects on the neurotransmission. Neurotransmission nahi ho pati hai. That's what the alcohol do in our body. Okay. So let's talk about what are the various actions that alcohol induced on the various body system. That's a quite interesting thing. The alcohol is a central nervous depressant. There are two kind of things. Whenever we are talking about the drugs which affect the central nervous system, there are two types of drugs. Alcohol is also a kind of a drug we are talking about. So the central nervous system depressants, they are those drugs which actually depressed our central nervous system. Central nervous system stimulants, they are those drugs which stimulate our central nervous system. The highest, so higher centers which are present in our central nervous system, they are affected first by the intake of alcohol. Initially, manifestations 
our central nervous system stimulation the initially when the person take the alcohol it stimulate our central nervous system but the late effect is the depression of the central nervous system it it, in, it stimulate the central nervous system due to the loss of inhibitory control excitation i already told you that gaba is a inhibitory neurotransmitter in our body which inhibit the activity of in the neurotransmitter but uh, alcohol already inhibit the gaba receptor so ultimately that's why initially the central nervous system stimulation occur euphoria when the person is in in his own dhun mein rehta hai mood swings actually happen in the patient aap dekhoge ki when the person take the alcohol achanak se wo hasne lagega aur achanak se wo ro bhi sakta hai और अचानक से वो इमोशनल भी हो सकता है यहाँ पे लिखा हुआ है इमोशनल आउट ब्रस्ट लॉस ऑफ सोशल इनहिबिशन इंक्रीज वोकलाइजेशन वेन द पर्सन वी नो दैट वेन द पर्सन इन टेक द अल्कोहल पर्सन की जो बोलने की स्पीड होती है वो बढ़ जाती है और ज़्यादा बोलता है दिस इज फॉलोड बाय दिस आर द इनिशियल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ अल्कोहल ये परमानेंट नहीं रहते हैं इसके बाद क्या होता है इम्पेयर्ड रिफ्लेक्सिस मतलब वो थथलाने लगेगा वो चलने के साइम उसका बैलेंस नहीं रहेगा लिखा हुआ है डिक्रीज फिजिकल एंड मेंटल एक्यूटी रेस्पायरेटरी डिप्रेशन इफ अ पर्सन टेक द एक्सेसिव डोज ऑफ अल्कोहल इन दैट केस इट कैन हैपन एंड देर इज अ हायर प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ डिप्रेशन इन द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम ऑफ अ पेशेंट सो पर्सन एंड कैन अल्टीमेटली गो इन द कॉमा इट इंक्रीज इज अ थ्रेश होल्ड फॉर द पेन दैट्स वॉट इज अ पॉजिटिव इफेक्ट ऑफ अल्कोहल इन टेक वेन द पर्सन इन टेक द अल्कोहल अल्कोहल अल्टीमेटली इंक्रीज इज द पेन थ्रेश होल्ड पेन थ्रेश होल्ड का मतलब क्या होता है इट इज अ मैक्सिम पोटेंशियल ऑफ एनी इंडिविजुअल टू bear the pain so ultimately when by giving the alcohol we can increase the pain threshold of a patient now after after talking about the effects of central nervous system let's talk about what effect alcohol can induce on the cardiovascular system alcohol causes the cutaneous vasodilations so cutaneous vasodilation these are the small blood vessels which are present on the which are uh, which are present on the skin of the patient okay so what actually do after doing the vaso dilations it leading to the coronary dilations it lead to the dilations of the coronary vessels it causes that tachycardia that is a increase it increase the uh, heartbeat of a patient it causes the depression of the vaso motor system माओकार्डियल डिप्रेशन मतलब मसल्स जो हार्ट की होंगी वो सही तरह से वर्क नहीं पर गएंगी कार्डियो माओपैथी मसल्स में पेन होना शुरू हो सकता है कार्डियो मायोपैथी क्लियर सो दिस इज देर इज अ इलाजमेंट ऑफ द हार्ट मसल्स दैट अकर एंड द पर्सन टेक द अल्कोहल सो दिस इज द नॉर्मल हार्ट दिस इज हेयर दे आर एक्सप्लेनिंग द इलाजमेंट ऑफ द मसल्स ऑफ द हार्ट सो दिस इज द दे कैन इंड्यूस द सीवियर नेगेटिव इफेक्ट ऑन द कार्डियो वेस्कुलर सिस्टम कमिंग टू द लीवर कमिंग टू द coming to the liver and the metabolism uh, jo alcohol hai it can increases the hdl level it can increase the high density lipoprotein in the level and it can lead to the decrease in the level of ldl hdl kya hota hai high density lipoprotein which is a useful lipoprotein jin aap logo ne jisme se jin mein meri cholesterol wali video dekhi hogi usme maine bataya tha ki what is the difference between the hdl and ldl hdl abhi dobara se bata deta hu hdl is a useful lipoprotein in our body which takes which which remove the bad cholesterol from the body jabki ldl it takes the good cholesterol in our body acute effect enzyme inhibition chronic effect enzyme induction we know that in our liver there the number of metabolic enzymes are present so initially at the lower dosage it inhibit the enzyme activity but chronic effect if we take it in the higher dosage it can cause the induction of the enzyme it decrease the gluconeogenesis i think aapne biochemistry mein padha hoga gluconeogenesis ka matlab kya hota hai production of the glucose from the non carbohydrate precursor so it this lead to the hypoglycemia patient ko hypoglycemia ho sakta hai the chronic use of the ethanol it lead to hepatomegaly enlargement of a liver and cirrhosis in the liver liver inflammation ho sakti hai that's very 
uh, this is the normal liver this is the enlarged liver they have given this is the liver this is the normal liver this is the liver with the cirrhosis replacement of normal tissue with the inflamed tissue that is the liver cirrhosis it can cause the liver failure also okay then let's talk about the effects of alcohol on the kidneys of the patient it can cause the diuresis diuresis is what it is it can increase the uh, secretion it did decrease diuresis due to decrease tubular uh, reabsorption of the water by inhibition of adh secretion it also increases the excretion of magnesium and the calcium ye magnesium aur calcium ki excretion ko bhi increase kar sakta hai it can decrease the excretion of potassium ions from the body clear so this is the effect which mainly it can increase the urine excretion from the body in the kidneys git that is gastrointestinal system it can increase the gastric acid secretion either by the stimulating the release of gastrin or by the increasing the action of taste but basically ye acid acid ke level ki secretion ko bada sakta hai administration of high concentration it produce acute gastritis gastritis means inflammation in the liver sorry inflammation in the stomach which jiski wajah se by taking the alcohol aapne dekha hoga kai logo ko nausea vomiting or pain start ho jate so basically that is because it it is because it induce the gastritis chronic administration cause a chronic gastritis and a chlorohydria ho sakta hai patient ko jisme there is a decrease in the secretion of the water due to atrophy atrophy means larger cells of gastric mucosa so it can induce a gastritis simple way mein kam concentration mein denge sorry high concentration mein denge to it produce a acute gastritis chronic administration matlab lambe samay tak leta rahega banda तो क्रॉनिक गैस्ट्राइटिस हो सकता है मसल्स में क्या हो सकता है फिटीगनेस कम हो सकती है मायोपैथी जिसमें मसल फाइबर प्रॉपरली फंक्शन नहीं करते हैं वो भी हो सकता है सो मसल्स में भी सीवियर इफेक्ट है मिसलेनियस व्हाट इज एक्चुअल इफेक्ट इट इंड्यूस ऑन द मिस इट इंक्रीज द सेक्सुअल डिजायर बट सेक्स पावर परफॉर्मेंस वो कम हो जाती है डिजायर इंक्रीज हो जाती है इट कैन कॉज अ इम्पोर्टेंसी इम्पोर्टेंसी इन विज स्पर्म सिक्रीजन इज अ वेरी लेसर इन द पेशेंट स्टिलिटी एंड गाइनोकोमेसिया ठीक है दिस इज अक्स सेक्स डिसऑर्डर ओके ऑन क्रॉनिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इट कैन ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस द प्रोस्टेटिक ग्लैंड कंजेशन जिसकी वजह से यूरिन यूरिनरी रिटेंशन हो सकता है इट कैन प्रोड्यूस द इनिमिया इन द पेशेंट बाई कॉजिंग द डेफिशियंसी ऑफ आयरन एंड द फोलेट लोकल इफेक्ट हमने हम डिटोल को यूज करते हैं दैट इज अ अल्कोहल इट सेल्फ ए रूबीफिएशेंट ए सब्सटांस विच डिक्रीज इरीटेट द स्किन एंड कॉजिंग द रेडनेस काउंटर इरिटेंट इट कैन रिड्यूस द इन्फ्लामेशन इट इज एस्टिंजेंट विच जो बायोलॉजिकल टिश्यू को कंट्रेक्शन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर देता है एंटीसेप्टिक अल्कोहल डिटोल एंटीसेप्टिक की तरह काम करता है एंड कूलिंग सो दिस वी हैव इन दिस माई वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस द टाइप्स और द इफेक्ट्स विच आर इंड्यूस बाय द अल्कोहल ओके अल्कोहल इंड्यूस द नंबर ऑफ इफेक्ट्स ऑन द वेरियस बॉडी सिस्टम्स ओके it induces the effect on central nervous system it induces the effect on the cardiovascular system it induces the effects on the liver it effect of kidneys git muscles and the local effects rest we will discuss in the next class thanks for listening my useful video thank you